Passengers and crew on board a cruise ship docked in Western Australia since Friday have been told they'll be able to disembark tomorrow, then face 14 days of quarantine. Keeping everyone entertained while the drama unfolded wasn't easy until a drag queen from Newcastle took centre stage. A cruise ship left in limbo embroiled in a COVID-19 nightmare. For passengers on board the Vasco da Gama, a Fremantle port has been their view since Friday after spending days floating off the coast. It changes every day, so every day we're going, what's going to happen today? The bleak situation meant keeping spirits high on high seas was top priority, so life didn't become a drag. No other entertainer can get on, so it's me entertaining the troops. I've been calling everybody, we're telling everybody, not calling everybody, telling everybody we're refugees. The show had to go on for drag queen Wayne Rogers, and it went on and on and on. Here I am, 20 days later, I think it is, still on the ship. Four shows turning into 14, sparking new meaning into the term captive audience. <laughs> It's not the first time the entertainer has been the centre of attention. In 2011, he made it all the way to the finals of Australia's Got Talent. When you die, your tombstone's going to read Wayne Rogers, showstopper. Despite that endorsement, getting a cruisy gig was a long time in the making. I kept getting the rejection because my act isn't mainstream, I guess. Here I am, 30 years waiting but finally got to see on a cruise ship. The 600 passengers and crew have been told they can disembark tomorrow. Stay strong because I know we will get through this. So see you all very soon. Michael Kane for 10 News First.